One of the important goals and objectives of Latino studies as a field of study that began through the grassroots movements and the um, political activism of young students like you in Chicago was actually to create courses that would reclaim the history of Latinos in the United States, a history that has been elided and silenced in many official history textbooks of the United States. Latino studies is growing and changing significantly. I started teaching 30 years ago in the 1980s and I have seen the field develop tremendously. We have more than about 300 programs all across the country that include Latino studies courses and faculty. Um, but it is still a very fragile uh, field of study, so we have to be very careful with budget constraints and the ways in which universities are validating or delegitimizing uh, certain areas of study because of their interdisciplinary or because they devote themselves to the study of minorities and people of color. So there's all sorts of political academic issues going on in campuses around that. On the other hand, I have to say that we're very proud that this summer in July in Chicago, we created our first Latino National and International Association. And we hosted a conference here uh, in July that brought over 500 people uh, to participate. So we are really becoming much more stronger. We're becoming uh, much more well represented. And we're definitely uh, becoming much more part of the institutional life of the academic world. As scholars and as producers of knowledge, we need to get updated and we need to continuously reinvigorate our thinking and our scholarship uh, by including all the different national uh, groups that are part of the United States right now. 30 years ago, the big uh, Three groups that were always represented in our courses were Mexican Americans or Chicanos, Puerto Ricans, and Cuban Americans. And that, what I call the Holy Trinity of Latino Studies, has actually shifted and expanded so that now we really have all Latin American uh, nationalities are in, are in the United States. And the uh, interesting, um, I would say, transformations and influences that we are effecting on each other is really important to consider. Uh, and so I think our biggest challenge right now after 30 years is to be able to include all of these groups in our understanding of the histories of Latinos in the, in the United States and to begin to understand and tease out how is it that they are beginning to affect each other. I think taking courses in Latino studies helps you not only to reclaim that history of your family for yourself and for your own children later, but also to be able to create critical skills that would allow you to interrogate uh, the way you think about the news, the way that Latinos are represented in media, the way that others talk about us. Um, and finally, I would say also that it is, again, taking these courses is, to me, it's always a political act. It is a way of resisting uh, mainstream institutions and the ways in which Latinos are usually elided and marginalized from uh, all sorts of things going on in the United States. Congratulations to all the people who have made uh, LALS at UIC a reality and a very successful program. And again, I hope that students, the young generations, continue to work hard uh, for the maintenance and the development of these programs. Congratulations, Latino and Latin American Studies.